Here we are again. It's Viva La Volva day today. Viva La Volva. <laughs> now I have to admit something. What? It's the name of my DVD, but I w did not originate the name, and you I did. love it. Uh, my girlfriend saw her daughter with this little pink pin. Oh, I love it. And the pin said, Viva La Volva. And I, and I said, that's it. That's a great name. That's my DVD title of it. So it's all going to be about pussy play today because we have a lot of questions, especially for men. Yeah. I mean, if you can imagine, we don't know what we've got down between our legs <laughs> or we think there's something wrong with yeah, it. Yeah, it's general shame. It's funny. It smells funny. It's not. My word was, it's not sanitary. You can't let somebody go down on you. Ooh. I want you to know that I couldn't do oral sex until I was 35. No. I'm telling you. You know what they say about people who teach? You teach what you need to learn? Wow. Oh, I was so inhibited. I was just, well, come on, Wichita. They didn't do oral you're right, sex in you're right. Wichita. In my era, I mean, I was like 16. I remember a guy going down on me, and I was just like... Uh -huh. So wet and so crazy. And everyone, like, he just started doing it. I just let him. I mean, I didn't feel bad about it. Well, uh, my attitude was that it wasn't sanitary, and I knew I was genitally deformed because I had the inner lips that hung down. And it's so bad. Uh, uh, you wanted a man who could go down there and see it? And a penis didn't I'll have eyes. Of personal. <laughs> <laughs> so a penis could go in. It, a penis can't smell. A penis can't see. So that was okay, fucking was okay, mm -hmm. but not oral sex. And here's what happened. When, this is Grant again, this is why I bless him all the time. We, we were having all this incredible orgasmic sex together and one night after a fabulous session, he reaches over for his glasses and- <laughs> To get a better look. <laughs> puts them on and he says, do you mind if I look at your, at your cunt? And I had two two shocks. First of all, I didn't like the word cunt. I thought, ugh. And then I thought, what kind of a sick, perverted nut <laughs> wants to look wants at my cunt? <laughs> <laughs> so he got out the Split Beaver magazines and said, I'll show you. He said, no, he said, it's, it's one of my favorite styles. And I went, styles? What is he talking about? Because women, we don't look at each other. And men should know this. So when we're this, in like the shower, we don't do that. Like the shower room or the gym, we don't, you don't barely look at it. So no, you don't for, know. No, for me it was a little triangle. And most women don't like porn. So what men need to realize is that there's a lot of genital shame that women have. And that's why Betty started the genital art gallery. So people can look yes. and see that. So part of it might be yes. taking your girlfriend yes. or your wife to the genital art gallery and showing them that there's a range of Perfect. looks to them. But we're also going to answer some of the questions. Okay. Because I think that's the most interesting way to do it. Okay. Number one. My vagina is dry, and when my partner uses his fingers, I push him away after a few minutes. Well, if he's pu pushing, is he putting his dry fingers inside yes. a dry vagina? Yeah. Indeed, I would push him away. Lubricant. You have <sighs> to have lubricant. Never touch a clit with a dry finger. Or penetration. Mm -hmm. uh, is, I think she's talking about penetration. The I, whole thing. She said he starts playing with her and then that's it. She pushes oh, him away because it's uncomfortable. Doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good. Absolutely. Well, he might be trying to get some of her pussy juices and use that, but that's really hard to do in the beginning when a woman's getting excited. You really need to air. And saliva isn't good enough either because it's good for a second and then... It thins it, too thin. Doesn't last. Doesn't last. And besides this... How many women are in a state of relaxation at the beginning of... They're not. When my boyfriend tries to go down on me, I push him away. How do I let my boyfriend go down on me? <laughs> and we hear this a lot. Well, I think she has to do that section on the website where you go to first orgasm. First time orgasm. And she has to become very familiar with her own pussy. She mm -hmm. needs to get that mirror out and get a good light and look at her in self in detail and definitely go to the genital art gallery and see all of the different kinds of vulvas that are out there in the wonderful world so that she has some feeling of what security me going down on a woman i would move off of the vulva and i would like kiss her thighs give her a massage you know what i mean give her more time so i think it's about a real soft touch very mm -hmm. gentle 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 very very soft <laughs> And if she was really, you know, when she gets comfortable, she could show him. She could take his hand 
and show the kind of pressure she wants or likes. Well, I always like my technique is I want to watch the person I'm going to have sex with masturbate and play with themselves a little bit. That's the best. And then I could figure out how they yeah. like it. The idea would be to get a couple of vibrators. I say, I say the magic Betty's wand. Book, sex for one. Have sex for one. Here's, here's what he does. He buys sex for one. Which is a, all about how women masturbate. Yeah. And, and get, a, get a magic wand and it's on his side of the bed. Now, he can use the vibrator for a sore muscle. It's a massager. It is, and that's what you say. What is that? What is that thing you got over there? It's a, an electric massage machine. Okay, and our final question. Um, can you recommend a toy for my boyfriend to use on me? This is my favorite. I, I brought it out. Oh, you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was using it underneath. She comes <laughs> prepared, yes. It has this little cap. Now, it's these little balls on the edge, and this goes right on your clit. Or near it or near it yeah sometimes for some reason <coughs> god bless you i know right above my clit and like my mound is the most sensitive area and if i use my vibrator there i don't even have to put it on my clit but what i like about this is you could use it during partner sex um it's little and cute it's cute it's simple it was the first sex toy i ever got with my girlfriends i had the orange one my girlfriends fought over the pink and purple ones i really wanted green but i lost out on that Whenever you want to learn something or try something new or progress in your sex life, it's going to be with your masturbation. That's what you're, that's, we're dancing at the bar, we're exercising, we're moving, we're trying different moves, we're breathing, we're using our muscles. So your masturbation, how I make love to myself, is what I bring to partner sex. So if I'm just a zero lion there, that's not going to be a lot of fun. So ladies masturbate <laughs> men encourage your ladies to yes. masturbate start your vibrators it's the gift that keeps on giving <laughs>